Hi guys, I'm Graffy here, and this is my Raid Shadow Legends Diary. Okay, so today I'm doing two videos. One was a video uh, because I just received, I just got, I just summoned um, Iron Brago, and just very happy that I do have him. I'm trying to level him up now, and I don't really have any resources after using all of them to get him, but I'm gonna do my best to get him up to six star fully ascended. But in any case, today I wanted to do a video like a review of Abess. Abess was the first champion, first legendary champion that I ever got. And she was vital for my account. I got her before I knew what any of it meant. I didn't know how good she was or anything like that. Anyway, I followed whatever gods I could find, built her up. Her gear, just because I'm a mid game player, um, her gear isn't great. I think that her true potential could be unlocked when I get much, much better gear, but I've tried to get her up as high as I could with the gear that I have. The main weakness to me right now is the fact that these are flat attack boots that I have on her. I want percentage attack boots on her. I have a 40% chest on her. I want it to be, of course, 60%, and then the gloves are 65% crit damage, so that's okay. Um, albeit, I feel like maybe that should be crit rate and in fact i might look into see because i do i did finish dragons 20 so i might have some better uh gloves for her i'll check that out now actually and then hp helmet is only four star and the weapon is only four star so actually let me look real quick i have her in a savage set to ignore damage and i'll go over her kit real quick and then i'll come back and look at redoing some of her gear so the a1 she attacks uh one enemy Removes one random debuff from this champion and places it on the tar on the target. So it's good. Nothing fantastic. Nothing to write home about. Uh, I'm gonna do the third first because I actually absolutely love this ability, and I can't decide if I like the A3 or the A2 more. But I feel like the A2 hits harder, so I'm gonna cover this one first. Attacks all enemies. Damage inflicted is proportional to either this champion's attack or the target's defense or attack stat, whichever is highest. So it sounds like to me, especially when I read it out, it sounds almost like the enemy max HP scale that they do with um, Royal Guard and Cold Heart. Uh, the second part deals an extra 30% damage if target's attack is highest, ignores 30% of target's defense if the target's defense is highest. So also on top of that, if I'm ignoring some defense, then I have this 25% ignore defense from the Savage gear. And now the other attacks all enemies, has a 75% chance of placing a 60% decreased defense buff. Um, and then I've had that all the way booked out to 100% chance. That is vital. I love having that 100% decreased defense. I got her like right as I um, finished working on my War Maiden at that point in the game when it was still when I was still early game. And so Warman just immediately became obsolete because she Warman you usually have for damage and decreased defense, but she does this damage and gives decreased defense debuffs. So and then this other ability here is amazing. When I pair her together with Madame Saris in the arena, and Madame Saris lays down her not that one. Uh Madame Saris lays down her decreased defense as well and her decreased attack. It, it just wipes out entire waves. Now, back to the artifacts. I really want to have her in better savage gear and the better speed gear. So let's see what I got. See, I have a six star here, but I like the attack percentage on that. This gives me crit damage and crit rate. That would be nice. Lose a little bit of accuracy, but that's okay. Accuracy and crit damage. Hmm. And then, yeah, that's nothing. I'm thinking about putting this on her. And forgive me, because I don't know what the max is on this flat attack. The flat would be 225. So that would be an increase of 35 flat. All right, I'm going to think on that one for a little bit. Now, do I have... 
I don't have any attack percentage. Just nope. And then as far as the boots, I know I keep checking for the boots. I know I don't have. Yeah, I don't know. These were the boots that were on her before, but just because I needed to complete the Savage set. So yeah, sometimes when you're just like desperate, not even sometimes, like right now, I'm just desperate for gear that would work. This helmet would be great for her. I may have to change that as well. The other problem is, and everyone said, like you're probably saying right now, well, why don't you just change it? Why don't you just change it? I gotta have the silver to be able to do all this. This is expensive. And I just basically used all of my silver to get Iron Brago. So I'm running really low, really low on silver. Let's see how much do I have? I think I like one million, yeah, one million. So there's no way I could change out all this gear and level it up to 16 on 1 million. That's just not gonna happen. And so what I'm gonna end up doing is making her weaker in the meantime. So what I'll try to do is actually right now, just to make a note to myself, I'll take this up to level four real quick. And then I'll know that as time goes by, I need to work on that piece. And then what do you think? HP or the crit damage and crit rate. I'm leaning towards the crit damage and crit rate. What is on her? This is HP and attack percentage, speed. I don't really care about speed. I kind of like the fact that she goes last. Accuracy, as soon as I get an accuracy banner, or I could even take this accuracy banner up to make up for that nine accuracy that I'm losing. So yeah, so I'll also use this piece as well. That'll be the next replacement for her. Uh, go ahead and level that up to level four. And do this real quick and then I'll take her into the arena where she is just a queen. Oh, nope. Oh my God. I still leveled up the wrong piece. Sorry for banging the table. That's probably not great for sound quality. Um, let me go back here. I can't believe I just did that. At least it was, wasn't a waste of too much, but oh, that is not what I needed. I do not need to waste silver like that. I can't believe I just did that. All right. So let's go back here. I'm tempted to sell that piece now just because of what I did. In fact, I will sell it. I'm going to sell it as soon as I finish this, just so I don't get confused later on again. Plus, I mean, is it? But can I really afford to be selling six star pieces? Not really. I need to keep all the six star pieces I have. All right. Well, note to self, don't screw up like that again. OK, so next. Now we'll see if she has crit rate on. Let's see this crit damage. Ooh, HP, crit rate, five star, speed and accuracy. This one has accuracy and speed. Defense and attack percentage. So I think, and one of the skills, is one of the skills based on critting? Since none of the skills are really, gives you any added advantage to crit, I'm just gonna leave these on for right now. And hopefully I will be able to, throughout, find crit rate elsewhere to increase that number. So, and as far as all of this, I've already looked at this today. I have nothing else in terms of what's going to help me for her to, to improve anything. I need an accuracy banner. I need just a better amulet, period. Somebody give me something that's not a three-star bleh. So, anyway enough of me pining over how terrible the gear is on my best i feel like i'll truly be able to lock her potential when i get some better gear but as it stands now she's still amazing in that mediocre gear that i have her in she is a consistent part of my arena team and in this setup it is gorgorab speeds everything up then Madam Sarah's goes, she removes the buffs and adds the defense, the um, decreased defense. Raglan is there basically as support, so she can manipulate turn meter to make us go a little bit faster, but otherwise she removes buffs and heals. And then Bess comes in last and drops the hammer. So, do, 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 do. not the strongest team in the world to go against, but you'll get the point. Uh, so, and this is the other thing too. Madam Sarah sometimes does her A2 or something. See, she does the A2 on that one. And I can't stand it when they do that. Anyway, drop the hammer, Divine Wrath. 
And actually, and this is the other part of it too, and these things don't last long when it messes around because she drops everybody. Um, this is the other thing too. I did some experimenting and maybe it was just the team that I went against, but it felt as though whenever I would, and I think I'm gonna lose to this team immediately. Whenever I would go, if I would do it manually and have Madam Saris open with her A3, and then have a best open with her A2. It always felt like there was more damage done when I do it in that order. Yeah, this is not looking good for me right now. Okay, so anyway, let's try to speed everything up for us. Don't care if you kill him. Don't care if you kill her, at least not for this video. <laughs> All right, so let's see if we can remove, drop the defense. Oh, 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 she gonna, Oh, she put her to sleep. The one time sleep actually. Oh. oh, come on. Nope. Yeah, I think this is going to be uh, all it but the crown for me. So I might have to find a better team to illustrate this on. So, yep, 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 yep. So let me try to find a better team to do this against. This was a poor selection. All right. So head it back. Uh... I don't know. I think this is also the other problem with being, eh, give it a shot. This is the other problem with being like mid game. I don't know all the characters well enough to know each of their individual skills all the time and who does what and who's the fastest and, and, and. So sometimes I just run into a, just something devastating. All right, so I'm gonna open with that A3, lay that down. Okay, so far so, ah, uh, got stunned. I'm gonna need Raglan to come up, save us a little bit. Okay, so Raglan's coming up. Let's go ahead and put that Mercy. A lot of Mercy. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, come on, come on, come on. It's her freaking turn. Okay. How's the rest of this battle gonna go? Looks like I don't have much of a chance here either. Oy vey. Yep, that's the end of this team. Huh. You know what? You know what? You know what? I think I know what I'm about to do. I'm going to face that team again, and I know exactly what I'm about to do. Whenever I need that extra boost of speed, I have to take Raglan out and put in my Apothecary because he adds speed, and he's one of my fastest champions. So... Let's see if we can go at them again. Come on, come on, come on. So. There you go. Oh, nope, don't make the wrong move. Boost that speed again. Put that defense. Decrease defense down. Pothecary, what are you doing? Opposing Pothecary, I mean, what are you doing? All right, so only one of them got stunned on that one, thankfully. So now when I hit them with this uh, mass impalement, that tends to give me higher stats, let's see. Okay, 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 so, so far so good. Let me get rid of her real quick. Oh, awesome. See, the other problem with not having Raglan is now, Raglan really is that awesome support in the arena. Revives on two turn cooldowns and removes the debuffs. So let's go ahead and speed this up a bit. Let's see if I can get Gorgorov to uh, revive in time. And of course, here we go. Nope, 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 just need that. All right, here we go. Let's get everybody back up. I'll be, I think I'm still in a pretty poor position right now. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to heal him, but there it goes. Go ahead and put this on auto because I think this is just the end. Should have found a tomato can team to go against. This is just, oh, domination. Eh, it's clear I'm gonna lose. So let's go ahead and leave this battle because I really want to show how that works. And of course, whenever I'm playing without recording, it works well, but now that I'm recording, it is a dumpster fire. So let's see here, got a defensive team. I'll go ahead and put my Raglan back in. So 
So the main issue with this team that I'm having now is just getting a bus to her turn. So here we go. Boom. And then actually I'll do one extra so I can see the actual. Well, let's hit you. I want to see the actual numbers that are put up. Oh, she did it to us too. All right, so now mass impalement. Okay, 18th. And now the numbers don't seem so big and oppressive, but you have to remember as well, I'm a mid-game player. And for me, a lot of what she can do is absolutely devastating. Boy, oh boy. Let's go back to 2x on that one. And actually, I'm kind of hoping that I do lose to this team because I want to do the same thing again against this team and then see what the numbers are when I do it with her A3. Okay, so I guess my wish came true. I'm able to lose to this team. And now let's see what happens if I open with that... If I do both A3s, A3s for Madam Sarah's and A3 for, uh, yeah, this was the team I went against. All right, here we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So now we, I'll slow that down just a little. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and get through it first and then I'll slow it down just to see the numbers. So, Doesn't really matter. And now we'll slow it down and now we'll hit them with the Divine Wrath. Wow, so maybe I was wrong. When I put the defense down, maybe that was just a team that I faced at one time, depending on whose attack and whose defense was higher. Maybe I was dead wrong. Maybe I should have been leading with the A3 from Madam Saris and then the A3 from the A3 from a bus. Cause she laid them down. All right. And then now mass impalement. There's a, now we run that on auto. All right. So next I'll just show her real quick in spiders. She is awesome in spiders just because she can clear out those little spiderlings relatively easily. And both her A2 and her A3 are, uh, AOE attacks. But even though that may not have been the best, don't fault a best in that moment for what the rest of my team was incapable of doing. Once you got to her turn, she can lay down good damage in arena. So it's just the rest of my team, this team that was supporting her, wasn't able to really get through it. Um, yep, so void, void, void. All right, cool. So we'll run her in spiders real quick. I won't show the whole battle because this video is already going longer than I expected it to. I won't show the whole battle, but I'm going to show you'll see how easy it is for her to get rid of the spiderlings with both her A2 and her A3. All right. So now Raglan will step up, hopefully clear all those debuffs. Thank you, Coldheart, for that clear up of the rest of the spiderlings. Boom, boom, boom. And so I think it's pretty, as you can see, like she does awesome damage and I have her in mediocre at best gear. She carried me from early game to mid game, her and Raglan, I'll do a video on Raglan another time, but she carried me through to the mid game just based on the kind of damage that she can lay down from her A2 and her A3. She's awesome at clearing whores and dragons. She's awesome at clearing at clearing out these spiderlings for a spider um, for the spider's den. Uh, yeah, I'm in love with her. I absolutely love her. So as you can see, she laid down 1.2 million in damage, keeping up with or out outdoing Cold Heart, Cold Heart, and uh, Royal Guard. Now, to be fair to Colt, both the Colt Hearts, 
their damage is mostly done with their heart seekers and they're only really targeting the um, mama spider but and the best is targeting all of the spiderlings constantly so that's giving her a lot more damage but same as with royal guard royal guard um, does two aoe attacks but a best still outdoes the or still outperforms them in the damage for the spider's den let's do one dragon real quick this is a positive affinity for her too so It'd be shocking if she didn't lay down damage. And I put Seal of the Drakes in there instead of, oh, let me, because I was experimenting with Seal of the Drakes for a little bit, but I am going to go back to my Doom Priest. All right. And actually, maybe I should slow this down to see the damage, because I've never really looked at the damage that she lays down on these hordes. Absolutely love Doom Priest too. Got to do a video on her as well. I feel like I don't have a whole lot of champions, but the ones I got uh, are really, really solid. There are very few that I regret booking. So yeah, 44, 56,000 on the hordes. And yeah, and Royal Guard's doing 53 to 60. So he does his takedown, which is what he's known for, and her AoEs match up with him. Now, granted, it's a legendary versus an epic, but that AoE attack is based off enemy um, max HP. And everybody does use him as a huge damage dealer in dungeons. And my Royal Guard is in some pretty good gear. He's in much better gear than a best is. So let me speed this back up. My Royal Guard is in much better gear than a best is. Let's just put it that way, plain and simple. And so the fact that she can out, that she's keeping pace with him in this mediocre gear that she's in speaks very well of her. And so, yeah, we'll cut here and then I'll come back with the results. So back here, the results, a best is about a million. Royal Guard is a monster in Dragon's Lair. Damn, uh, two million. I'm thinking a lot of that is from using takedown on the dragon. But in any case, that will conclude my review on a best. I absolutely love her. Um, I, she was my first champion and I could not have been luckier to get her as a nuke. So in any case, hope you enjoyed it. Please rate subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.